Hello and welcome back to our archway. And uh, we're almost there, we just need to make a few minor alterations. So you may notice that in the side view, we've got this little bit sticking out, so we're going to fix that. And then we're going to duplicate, mirror and all kinds of wonderful things to finish the whole arch without having to do it manually, um, creating a bit at a time. So first off, just going to grab my side sections. So I just want to grab the faces of these ones, holding shift, just selecting these, then going out to space, using the side view, go down shift and pull, just pulling it out like so. Just add that little detail there. And now we're going to grab the entire mesh and I'm just going to go to edit, duplicate and just move this off to the side, just forget about it for now. Going back to our original, just going to zoom into here. Now I want to delete these faces because they will cause a struggle later when you're mirroring things over and connecting them. They will not connect if there's a face in the middle of it. So we need to delete these. So grab the face, holding shift and just grabbing these ones I don't want, slamming the delete button, and that's it. So now I can make a duplicate of this archway. So we're going to do this. Now we know we need to move it along. For me, if you look at my axis down here, we're working on with the X axis. Yours might be a bit different, but just be sure to make sure which direction you're working with down here. So I'm gonna go mesh and mirror. Now it may be a bit off. This is when we can use the four views. And I'm just gonna set the off section. Let's move this one. I'm just clicking with my left mouse button and pulling it just till I am happy. Yes, I am very happy with that. It's always great to say. And I can make sure that there's a merge threshold, it's all merged together. Yes. And yeah, that's it. That is the archway into an arch. So the next part we need to do, because in our image we've got this little lip over here, so we're going to cheat a bit and we're going to kind of, well, delete the section we don't want and bring back this and glue it all together. It won't be too difficult. So, I'm going to move this guy in a bit. Now, I already know that I don't want these sections. So, let's do it by faces. So I'm going to grab the face and just grab, click and drag to grab the just top section and delete. The bottom section I do not want either. And we don't want this section here. And I don't really want these sections either. So I'm just going to delete those. Now I'm going to leave that section there, that's absolutely fine. And yes, that's good. So now, coming to this object, we need to delete these faces because we're going to want to merge them together. So, I'll grab all these side faces here, all the way down, and just delete. I'm coming back to this guy, and just move him into position to line up the image as so there. Okay, that's looking really good. And one little adjustment I am going to make is um, with this one, I'm going to get the vertices and I'm already just going to pull them out. Now I'm pulling a little bit beyond what I need here. And the reason for that is so that's easy for me to tell when they're put together. So I'm just going to tweak these a little bit back. 
and the same. Actually, I won't tweak that one so much. I'm gonna do it to this one. Just tweak that bit there because I don't really want to move that one. So yes. So that's a little bit better, ready for me to glue together. But first we need to combine it so recognize it as one big mesh. So the hold shift. So we've got both those sections selected. Go over to mesh and combine. So now it sees it as one big image. Now the wonderful thing I can do next is get the wedge at uh, the target weld. Click on that and I can do this by vertice. So I want this guy to weld to there. And taking my time going round. Now, sometimes it gets a little bit tricky to see, so you may have to angle your screen just right. Ah, there you go. That's good. Now, this section, I want to do it going back, so I'm going to grab this and go there, there. Now, the other side. On hindsight, I could have used symmetry. That's okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. And just going down. Taking your time. So clicking and dragging, and it snaps automatically. And there you go. Now we have a beautifully completed archway. So another good time to go file, increment and save, and there you go.